It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103. <laughs> trending Topics being brought to you by Icebox Diamond and Jewelry Watches and Buckhead. For the, fur, for the best place to buy, sell, or trade high quality diamond jewelry and watches, visit IceboxJewelry.com. Come, let's see. Somebody who might not be going to that store anytime soon, or maybe, would be Eve. Did you hear? Grammy Award winning rapper Eve may have some explaining to do to her wealthy fiance, Maximilian Cooper. For they tied knot because not only is she bringing her considerable talents, abilities, and awesome uh, looks to the to the marriage, she's also bringing a three hundred and twenty-seven thousand dollar debt to the IRS. Jeez. Seems like every other day I'll tell you about somebody who owed the IRS some money. According to newly filed documents, the former Rough Riders member had two separate liens filed in the state of New York uh, with Eve behind in large sums. The federal government ordered, audited the rapper in 2012 and slapped her with another lien on November 6th. According to the documents, the lien states Eve failed to pay $102,000 taxes and $102, in taxes for 2012. Putting the grand total for four years at $327,072.25. And oh yeah, they won't take 25 cents. Now, even Cooper, uh, well, Cooper, who actually has a net worth of $50 million, um, got engaged on Christmas Day during a trip to Scotland. Maybe he should just, you know... Take care of that since that smile changed to him. Okay? Um, somebody else worth a lot of money would be the homie Diddy. Um, and there was some rumors circulating that he was closing Bad Boy Records. A rep from that Bad Boy says uh, reports about the record label shutting down are nothing more than rumors and that they aren't true. Rumors of a passable Bad Boy shutdown have been actually circulating since December. Bad Boy is home to artists such as Janelle Monet, Machine Gun Kelly, and French Montana. And the label will celebrate its 20th anniversary this year. Seems like a silly time to set it down, right? And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hold on to somebody. The game is throwing his hat into the ring to fight, box, George Zimmerman in the upcoming celebrity boxing match. Apparently, George Zimmerman has agreed to the March 1st celebrity boxing match. He told him he'd fight anybody, quote, including black people. Really? The game said, I will, quote, uh, game says, uh, I would not be boxing for me. I'd be boxing for the legacy of Trayvon Martin and his family. If you didn't know, he has a tattoo of Trayvon's likeness on his leg. Quote, I would box to knock him out. I would definitely take pleasure in it. It's legal, and I want to show him you can solve your disputes without a weapon. Wow. Let's just do the tail of the tape. George Zimmerman was like six feet, 245 maybe. No muscles. Game, 6'5". Solid 240. I'm putting all my money on the game. Be on the lookout for that celebrity boxing match. Not only will it be for a good cause, George Zimmerman might get his behind me. So I'm going to tune in and turn up for that. Thank you for listening to the Trending Topics. If you miss any particular portion of this uh, Trending Topics, head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can see my I Hope Gang gives that boy faux black eyes face. I got the three things you need to know right around the corner next on the People Station V-103.